Hello and welcome to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Goral with Hampton City Schools. Our show today is going to be great as we have Mario Barkley, our brand new principal at Andrews Pre-K through 8 School. So welcome to HCS Connects. Thank you, Ms. Goral. And uh, we're so excited to learn all about, you know, your new position at Andrews, all about you. So let's start, like, who is Mario Barkley? Where did you go to school and grow up? Well, I'm born and raised in Hampton, Virginia, and I went to Robert E. Lee Elementary School, then Lindsay Middle School, and then, of course, Hampton High School. Ah, uh, Crabber. I am a Crabber. <laughs> Robert Pride. Um, and I graduated in 1999 and then I went to the College of William and Mary where I earned a bachelor's in history and a minor in African American studies. After that I came back to Hampton and I taught at Hampton High for 10 years as a history teacher and I taught uh, world history, U.S. history and government. So you were born and raised in Hampton, went through Hampton City Schools, graduate of Hampton, Hampton High School, mm -hmm. and then you came back to Hampton to teach and went straight back to your alma mater of Hampton High School. Yes, ma'am. What made you come back to Hampton? Just the idea of the hometown and just being familiar with it and being comfortable with it. And it's just something that I really enjoyed. It wasn't planned per se, but it also, it, fit, it worked out well. It was a good fit. Yes, ma'am. So 10 years at Hampton High. Now I know you said you went to William and Mary and then you had to have gone on somewhere else to get mm -hmm. that administrative endorsement. Where else did you attend school? I went to the George Washington University where I earned my master's in education leadership and administration. Excellent. And so from there, Hampton High School, 10 years as a teacher, Mm -hmm. Where did you have your first administrative experience? My first administrative experience was at Andrews, believe oh, it or not. And there you go. I worked there for two years, and then the past two years I was at Sims Middle School. Oh, so you were you started as an assistant principal at Andrews. Yes. Now, but Andrews is pre-K through eight. So, what grades did were you in charge of at? At Andrews? that time, I was in charge of the middle school area, which was grades six through eight, and six then eight. made an easy transition into Sims, of course, which is middle school as well. So you've come back to Andrews, mm -hmm. first year as a principal. But I know that Andrews actually is a very special place to you. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you explain exactly why? It's unique because I was actually born on that site. That was the site of the old Hampton General Hospital. So I was born at Hampton General. So it's kind of unique and odd to say that that somewhere where you born, you were born and now you're working there and especially at this capacity. And you're a leader there. Yes. So right there at that spot is mm -hmm. where you were born mm -hmm. and now you are the principal. So you really have come home in, yes, in, in, in a sense. Yes, ma'am. So as a principal, what were you kind of expecting with this new position? It was a very interesting opportunity because like I said, working there and now coming back, um, the biggest thing I was expecting was just working with those teachers that you've, I've had relationships with in the past, coming back, working with them, and then ha helping them grow because a lot of those teachers had the same aspirations that I did. And of course, the biggest thing is obviously seeing the kids, seeing the younger kids um, as well. They just put a smile on your face. They really enjoy seeing their building principal through the hallways. They always come and give you hugs. So that's a different, approach than, of course, the middle school students. And, um, and I'm kind of dating myself as I taught middle school and I was a middle school coach and a middle school administrator. So, and I love middle school. But when you're saying, you know, you need those little hugs maybe around your kneecaps or whatever, mm -hmm. to, you go down to that pre-K through kindergarten or first grade classrooms, mm -hmm. you kind of have the best of, of all worlds because you can get those hugs, but then you can go back up to that middle school and have those more mature conversations and really see that growth as well. Absolutely. You know, the little kids, they love you, but sometimes you just want to get a little serious with the work so you can easily go upstairs, work with those middle school students. And at times, if you need a break for that, like you say, you can just go right back. And you also have the kids in uh, grades three through five in the middle. So it's a wonderful balance working there. So what are some goals for this year as a brand new principal? And Andrews has got a great reputation. It's got some really great hardworking teachers. The school's doing well. But so what are some goals for you going in that first year? Our students and our teachers have worked very hard and what we want to do is maintain and sustain that success that we've had both inside the classroom and also with our parents outside of the classroom. Obviously we want to remain accredited in that piece right there and work on and improving on some of the areas that we see the students can really improve in with our writing scores for an example. And, but overall, just helping those teachers who want to improve 
their professional craft and working with them and possibly helping those teachers who want to become administrators into that next stage in their careers. Well, that's a lot to tackle that first year, Mr. Barkley. <laughs> it's going to take some time, but we're going to get there. Well, and like you said, there's always room to grow. You know, you're 100% accredited. The teachers are working hard. The students are working hard. You've got great parent support and community support, but there is always room for growth. Um, and you even mentioned the writing. You know, that's one part that you know you want to just grow on. They're doing well. They're 100% accredited, but you just want to grow. So those teachers, you also said you want to be able to support the teacher leaders within your building. Right. Um, that's excellent. As a brand new principal, um, that's that's a hard first year mm -hmm. to learn your position, but to also know you want to help your teachers grow. Mm -hmm. So what helps you grow? Taking my time and balancing it between my professional duties and my personal duties and just always having a better balance of that. Um, at times I have to take time for myself and make sure that I'm okay, that I'm growing as well. Being a principal, of course, you know, that it's at the top of the school tier, however you wanna grow as well. You just can't say, well, I'm a principal now. I've made it, you haven't. There's other things that you can do right. and that's why you wanna have those lofty goals because it keeps you on your toes as well. So family, do you have any family? Yes, I. my mother still lives in Hampton and I have two older siblings. One is in San Diego, one is in Newport News, and of course my wife, Dominique. Excellent. So is she adjusting to the life of a principal? Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. Because that's some late nights mm -hmm. and some weekends. Probably not just some weekends, but several weekends right. and several late nights. Um, you know, that's a hard job. That's a, that's a lot of hats that you have to wear. Yes. So we know that the principal job is a hard job, but what other hobbies do you have? I really enjoy taking pictures and photography. That's something that I've probably done for since really got serious in 2009 per se. Excellent. So it's something that I like to do, but it also gives me time away from myself going out there taking pictures, it gives me time to relax and refocus. So what type of photographs do you like to take? Landscape and cityscape. Oh, well, awesome. So when we're looking for things to do publications, we'll have to Absolutely. Still some help from you to go Absolutely. out and take some great pictures of our schools in Hampton. Absolutely. Not that I need to add anything else to your plate. <laughs> it's fine. So real quick as we wrap up, what have you really enjoyed probably the most just in the last five, six weeks of school? Just coming back to Andrews and seeing those students who I had relationships with in the past and seeing how much they have grown. So at the time I left Andrews, I believe those students who were in fifth grade are now in the eighth grade. So just to see them grow so much, that's really exciting. And then of course, seeing the younger students as well. And that's um, an awesome opportunity because not all administrators have that, where they've seen those students in a younger grade mm -hmm. left and then come back. Did they recognize you? Absolutely, they and their parents recognized me. So that was a really good opportunity to have and they welcomed me with open arms. So it made me feel very comfortable and helped me in my transition back into Andrews. Well, we're very excited about your transition and uh, hopefully you've had felt very welcomed by everyone. I have, thank you. Um, and thank you for being here today. Well, thank you. So that we really got to know a little bit more about Mr. Mario Barkley. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. In the meantime, stay connected with us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Jump over to our website or even Peg TV. Thanks and have a great day.